Hello everyone, welcome to the art workshop. My name is Christopher Epling and with me is my daughter Kiki, Kiernan Epling. Uh, we're here today to do some tutorials. Now I'm going to learn from who I think. No, 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 no tutorials. Okay, so what is this? Is it exercise? So what, you're going to draw, then I'm going to draw. Is that how it's going to work? Yeah. So if you want to do this at home, you can follow along with us. Uh, Kiernan's a pretty good teacher. She's got, been learning how to draw people pretty well and uh, she's gotten pretty good at it. I think so we're going to try it out and see what happens so um, let's start out by getting our pins what we're going to use here explain what this is today Kiki what is what kind of pin is this here you go grab your pin what kind of pin is this uh, a marker it's a marker and uh, do you want to tell everybody how old you are I'm three three years old and you draw a lot don't you I'm not four yet not four yet but you're almost there aren't you I'm not three yet you're not three yet yeah you're three and a half Three and a half, and she's so good at drawing people. I, she really is. And I'm, I'm, I'm not four yet. She's not four yet, but we're working on it, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so here's what we're going to do. So uh, we have a big piece of paper in front of us. We're going to use markers, and I've divided the piece of paper into a big old half here, right? So this is your side. This is Dad's side, right? Yeah. Okay, so what are you going to teach me how to draw today? I will teach you how to draw a smiley face. Smiley face? Or ups what, you, what you, used to, you used to call it? A, a happy frown. <laughs> I got a happy frown! Yeah, you did. Okay, let's take off your marker here. Pull the lid off of it. Good job. I'll get mine ready. Now let's go slow so everybody at home can watch and start way up here so, so they can see it, okay? Now, I'm, now go slow. Now what are you going to do first? Okay, we'll stop right there. Man, that's a good circle! That, I, I'm kind of blown away right now. This is, uh, let me get this other one. This one's kind of dud. I'm really, really impressed by your circle. That is a really nice circle. All right. Beautiful oh, circle. Oh, almost. There, got it. Mine, mine's not bigger than yours. Oh, it's about the same. Now, 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 explain what you're doing now. What's the next step? Two One. eyeballs in there. Two eyeballs, okay. One. Two. And two. Two. Cool. Let me do mine. No, no, wait. You're moving ahead too fast. Well, you already got the smiley face now. Okay, so here's my eyeball. <laughs> here's my eyeball now. Smiley face. Now, what else are we going to do to it now? What about ears? Put some ears on it. Very good. And we need to add some, what else to it? What else to it? I guess I'll do a bigger, bigger body. Big old body, okay. That's a pretty big body. Is that, is, that, is that the whole body? I do the legs. Oh, the legs. That's my favorite part, right, isn't it? Okay, what about feet? You gonna draw some feet on here? Feet, cute. Got little feet. Cute. Used to, oh, I see, you go like this for feet. That's interesting. What about arms? Arms. Okay, take your time. Arms. Okay, all right, so straight across here, straight across there, got it? Now. What else? Hands? Yeah. How you got your hands over here? Better not draw off the table. <laughs> Just draw it on the edge. Like right there. A little bit of arms. Look at your hands. Just put little dots. Oh, okay. Just put little dots for fingers. Hey, it's my side. <laughs> okay, you're going to show them how to do it with this one? Okay. Isn't that how you... Yeah, is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we got, we got about everything except the hair, I guess, maybe. Or, oh, yeah, hair. What is that? Okay. That's a V face. Okay. Got some more hair here. Look here. We're going around the side now. Oh wow, you're doing real big thick hair. I don't have that kind of hair ability to do it, I don't think. That's that's oh you oh you've got yours like all in one spot there. Aren't you gonna put a little few little lines like going around the other side? No, no, mine's 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 a smiley face. Yeah, it is. What about, you know what we're forgetting? Don't touch that. You know what we're forgetting? Eyebrows. Can I do mine and do your, you do yours? No. Oh no, you beat me to it. Oh, yours is, oh my goodness. You're smiling, he looks a little, uh, man, mis mischievous there. It's pretty good, I like it. Looks really good. So, yeah. So, what do you think about drawing? You like it a lot? Yeah, you think you wanna keep it up, keep going at it? Yeah, why don't you tell everybody, uh, oh, tell everybody, are you going to teach your brother when he gets older? I'm going to teach my brother when I get older! That sounds good. That was pretty loud. That sounds good. Uh, so, yeah, I think we did a great job. I mean, to be 
a little over three. I'm, this doing, is, I'm doing lines on the, on the feet. That's an excellent idea. Uh, to be a little bit over three, it's amazing. Um, I think kids, if you just show them once how to do something early, they mimic that, you know. And, uh, of course, you know, she goes off and be creative and does her own thing after it's done, which is perfectly fine. But, you know, I'm just so proud of her developing like this and getting to the point where she loves art, don't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. She loves art. So you can check out more episodes, of course. You know, go to uh, Pike TV 99 uh, on... Uh, That's a moon face. Yes, but it's okay. It looks very good. And check out previous videos. We have 95 to date, so that's amazing. So, um, yeah, I th really appreciate it. Look at it. Really good job. Uh, so thank you all for this segment. Tune in just for a second. So don't, don't leave us. We're going to jump into another tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, very basic children's um, art supplies to create something cool for Valentine's Day. You ready for Valentine's Day, Kiki? They told her not to scream in the mic before this started, and so, you know, that's exactly what she's doing. But uh, uh, tell everybody bye and thank them. Bye. And say thank you. Say thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. All right. So, as you can see, kids, even at very early age, they love art. You know that. If you've been around children, you've seen it. Um, me, myself, I see it firsthand, my daughter and how she's developing. So, it's just encouraging to bring her in here. I'd like to eventually... If, you know, God bless us, we're able to move on and do more episodes. One day bring her here when she's much older and uh, see her development. So it's a pretty precious thing. Now, today we're also talking about a precious thing coming up. Now, as you know, I'm not dressed appropriately for talking about it, of course. I should have maybe a big red shirt on and maybe maybe hearts uh, uh, on it or something. But Valentine's Day is coming up. Now, I don't know how you feel about Valentine's Day. I've heard a lot of mixed uh, opinions about it. Some folks say, uh, yeah, I can't wait. We're going to have a great time, me and my spouse. Others say it's just, uh, you know, this and that, and I don't want to do it, and blah, blah, blah. But no matter what, it's coming. And so I want to think about something today as a, as a sort of an exercise to draw, to kind of, you know, uh, um, signify that the date's coming up, the holiday's coming up. So this is going to be a heart. But now, the last time I did this, I don't know if you've checked out previous videos, but I actually did a heart. I like penciled in a real human heart. All the arteries, all the valves, all the chambers, everything. We're not going to do that today. This, you only need one tool for, thank goodness. And you have it probably in a drawer sitting around at home. You need a marker. And I'm going to show you before we start, though, a couple of things. Because this is a little bit children-focused earlier today with my daughter here. So I brought in something that, that she has that I think that if you uh, were to get, it would help you if, for beginning artists and those who are interested in learning more about the different mediums and techniques and things like that. Now, of course, here at Pike TV, we do not uh, endorse any one brand over another or market anything. But I am going to use this as an example just because it's hard to bring in six or seven. This is, a, uh, of course, Crayola. Now, Crayola makes a kit for, for kids. Um, that's, oh, I love the smell of crayons. This takes me right back to G.I. Joe, Transformers. It's, it's amazing. Um, so you have a kit of crayons, of course, colored pencils. You have um, your, your, your markers, and then you have your... Um, um, they call it uh, the squeaks, they're pip squeaks. There's little markers and they're washable. So this is a perfect kit for beginning artists. Um, kids get to learn a little bit about other different mediums and stuff. Now, if you do that and you want to take it a step further, listen, I don't know if you travel any with your kids, but if you have kids and travel, we do sometimes go see family and such. So if you see something like this out there, and what this is, it's, it's, it's a brand called Art 101. And they make these small little kits for on the go. And one might be, this one here is uh, it's not open yet, but it's colored pencils. This is watercolor. And there's this little tin kit that you can get. You get a child, your child one of these or a couple of these, put them in the car with them, and give them a little sketchbook, something like that, to bring with you. Now, this one's mine. <laughs> I say talk about get it, get it for your kids, but, you know, this is something that I keep around, uh, one of many. But you give that to them, and it, it'll, you know, it'll save you some time. You'll, you'll, uh, You'll find that they are uh, they're 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 pretty pretty content at least for a little bit, which is absolutely essential for parents. So today, though, focusing on today, um, all you need is grab yourself a piece of paper, turn it long ways so that it's not too wide; it's more tall. And what we're going to be doing is 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 a uh, is, is is a is kind of a shallow silhouette or shadow of of something that's going to turn into something else. So it's going to be a tree. It's going to be two trees. Um, what happens is the roots start here, they go up, they spread out and come in and form the heart. So if you can get an idea of what that is, 
uh, to begin with. I'm not going to pencil this in. It's a little bit different today. I'm going to go straight marker on paper. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? Now, first thing you want to do is right here in the lower portion of your page. So we're talking about this is the middle of the paper. Drop down about right here. I want you to go here in the middle and I want you to use your marker and make this giant, thick block, okay? Literally a block. Looking, You can make it squared. Square it off if you want on both ends. Perfectly fine, okay? This is your starting point. Everything's going to come from here and through here, right? After you have this big giant block drawn, drop below it, just below it, and come out on each side, sort of flare it out on each side. And of course, you'd want to go back in and ink inside that. And we're going to be doing a lot of inking on these bottom portions today. If you have a thinner brush, if your brush doesn't have a big tip on it, you may take a little more time. But once you've seen this done, though, you can do it. Now, we're going to come on this edge right here because it flares out. And we're going to bring it up, down, up, down, OK? we come on the other side where it flares out here. We're going to go up and down, OK? All right, so now we're getting the roots of the trees, right? Now, these upper roots need to be a little thicker. So I'm going to go up to the portion up here and bring it and thicken that up some. Of course, we're going to be popping this in a little more ink in here. Something like that. Now, the roots, of course, when they start out from the tree are thick. And as they go down, they get smaller, right? Now, the tree also has some more roots sticking out here. These are smaller roots. You can play around by how much pressure you put down with your marker. Like this. You can bring a whole lot of these coming down. Some of them more thicker than others. But the idea is to connect this to the tree. There we go. And then maybe a couple here. There we go. Now widen this out over here, of course, too. This gives it a little thicker there going out to this root. Now we're going to be doing the same thing at the top. So as as above, so below sort of thing here. Okay. Down. Go out here. Now we're going to start adding little limbs on the on these branches. Some bigger than others, okay? Like that. You can play with them a little bit by bringing them around. Maybe cross one over this. Now the real design part is going to come at the top of the tree. So when we actually go up to the top and we put in a few more um, branches and stuff, that's where the design of the heart is actually going to come into play. Okay. Down here we're just adding this to make this more effective uh, to look like a silhouette of a tree. But the real design part comes at the top. And this shouldn't take too long to do. You should be able to knock this out and five or ten minutes even if you've done it a couple of times yourself, okay? We'll round this little section out. Now, we got to keep going down this direction here, so we have a few more. Bring it down kind of far too. Some of these might extend out a little more than others. Now, as you're doing this though, be very conscientious of how much pressure you're putting down, because that does matter. So sometimes whenever you put too much pressure down, when you thin out the, 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 the lower portions of the roots, the effect isn't is quite as good, okay? You know, if you want to use another pen even to do this, you can. You can choose to maybe use two pens for this. If you, notice, if you can notice in the small square, if I'm closing one of my eyes, it's because I really need to bring my glasses with me when I do this. Uh, getting older, believe me. And as you get older, things start to go. But the good thing about art is that, you know, as long as you have your sight, um, even if you don't really, I guess, um, you can create it. But with me, though, uh, our art is just, you know, something that I do to kind of, you know, help, help just dull things out and relax and meditation even. Art has a lot of meditation values to it, especially when you're doing a piece like this. Because, see, in a piece like this, you're not worried so much about values and perspective and you're not playing around with all those things, trying to get those just perfect. You're, you're just having fun making lines, you know. And the only really pressure that you have here that's really kind of your responsibility in it is to make these lines thinner at the bottom and thicker, you know, excuse me, thicker at the bottom and uh, thinner towards the edges. If you can pull that one effect off with this stuff, it, it looks like a tree branch or roots. Now we're doing the same exact thing at the top, so... 
So exactly what you're doing you're at the bottom, you're going to be doing at the top. So that's that's pretty good for the bottom. Looks like this one's a little thicker than... There we go. Thicken that up just a little bit. All right, now. Now we're going to focus on the top of the tree. Now listen, I didn't add a ton of branches. You can go in here and add a lot more. You can fill this whole thing up if you want, you know, with roots, I mean. Um, that's up to you what you want to do, and it's, you know, it's sort of your discretion. But I didn't add too, too many. You can, though. You can add a lot. And the cool thing about this is you can do multiple ones pretty fast. Now, here's where the really design thing comes into play. We got the whole bottom sort of lined out. And we're looking at the top now. At the top, you see that we have a starting point similar to the bottom. The only difference here is instead of flaring out, which we are going to flare out, and, and coloring it in, we're going to flare out first and then come up at the top up here and you're going to put a little shape like this in here, okay? Something like that. A V. Okay? So instead of flaring out and blocking it up, you're going to put a V here, sort of, okay? And this will all be black because this is a silhouette piece, right? After you've done that, you've created now the separation of these two portions of the trees to go out and come back in and form the heart. Now this is a little, little difficult, but you can, you can get it. First thing I want to do is bring a branch coming out this way. Draw a couple smaller branches first, maybe. And then maybe one on this side. You don't want to do the exact same thing on both sides. Make them a little different, make, you know, make it unique. If one, if one looks exactly like the other, then it's almost like a carbon copy. Uh, and, 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 and it really takes sort of the uniqueness away a little bit, okay? So now we have both sides sort of starting to develop. This is where we really take it in at now. So we bring this piece coming up. As you go towards the top, you're going to spread it out some. And you notice this is going way up, coming up like that, okay? Do this on the other side too. Start about right here, right where that branch is coming in. You need to watch kind of closely and try to mimic the same same side, what you did on the other side here. This does need to be somewhat proportional, something like that, okay? See how it's starting to form a heart? Now, this doesn't look exactly like a heart yet. These are not supposed to form the outline of a heart. These are supposed to be the starting point to do that, and I'll show you what I mean. So once you jump back down to the bottom, you're going to thicken this one out pretty good. Bring it out to about right there, and then stop. Come back in color all this up. Now this marker here has a really neat function to it. Well, not really function, but has a potential, I should say. And its potential is you can thicken it by pressing down and you can let it be thinner by just barely pressing it down. So it's got a little bit of a pressure um, aspect to it. Those brushes are perfect for these jobs. You're doing something like this, okay? You really want that to be uh, an option for you. If you just the, the amount of pressure you put down changes the thickness of of the brush okay it doesn't work with all brushes you can you can try if you try like uh, something like sable hairbrush you're going to find that the sable hairbrush uh, when you push it down it flares out and when it flares out you can't really get um, a whole lot of a of a line from it it just looks like a bunch of little like a like a like a paintbrush that's run out of paint you know um, sable hair is okay but you get synthetic brush synthetic brush um, th those do about the same thing. They hold more more uh, ink than 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 the other. Uh, but then when you get into markers, though, felt tip markers, which we're using today, there's a lot of different options out there for you. So pay attention to the thickness of that of that brush. Okay. Now, now notice what I'm doing here. I'm starting to bring other branches in towards that top. I'm kind of going around, feeling of where this needs to be at. So. I'm also going to bring branches out from it too, though. I don't want this to be just one, one shape here. Now the heart sort of looks like it's off to the right a little bit. Now I need to recenter this somehow. I can either do it from this side or that side. I think what I'm going to do is do it from this side. Now I'm going to bring a branch coming off of this one and coming up like this. So now what you're starting to see is there's multiple hearts being formed here. It's not just one, and that's why I said it's okay, kind of in the beginning, whenever I. I did that, you know. You can see now how it's starting to form a heart. It just keeps moving around. It's all follow, following the same flow. See here? All the same flow. So you have the same kind of kind of easing into the upper portion on each one. Here we go this one here too. 
Now watch this, I'm crossing my line some. I'm not being so, so precious to it that I don't want to cross it over, okay? Something like this. Even do a few in the middle here too. Bring this one up here like this. So it looks like multiple, multiple hearts even, right? As you're going, okay? Now you can kind of see how that looks. Now, we've got the basic outline for the top of the tree. What we really need to do at this point is go back in and now we start to add a few more limbs, okay? Sort of like down here, okay? So we're gonna start, let's start over here on this side here. And what I'm gonna do, I wanna bring a few more lines crossing over first. I'm gonna come up this way, spread that out, go out from here a little bit too. See, it's always moving upward and inward, okay? You don't wanna cross it downward too much. That, that's, that's the job of the roots here, okay? Up at the top here, very thinly, adding a few lines, breaking in. Maybe breaking in here too. Down this way. Down this way here. So this one here is a great opportunity to come up and in again. Like that. Now we're gonna keep on doing this thing. We're gonna bring branches out, spread them out more. Break them up more. All of them following the flow and shape that we're wanting to create at the top, right? We don't want to we don't want to bring anything out too far from it, okay? It's starting to shape up pretty good now. I don't want to be like again too prescient. So I may bring a little line going up this way even. Or out this way, you know. Up here, go this way with it. Okay, now you're starting to see. The heart itself is not drawn uh, to scale of anything or is it drawn uh, in a way that you're saying like a, the traditional heart, right? You're, you're, you're making the effect of the heart happen by using these limbs as, as, as your basis, okay? And you just keep on bending those lines inward, keep on developing this, many, many strokes, many lines that you're gonna make and it's okay if it takes a lot because, you know, it's the form that it makes at the end is very cool, right? A few more at this way. Now, what you want to do from here, you can either um, thicken the lines up a little bit more on the edges like down here at the bottom because the effect looks really cool if it's nice and thick in some areas, okay? So I'm going to thicken up a few more lines here. And then once I do that, I think we're just about done. Yeah, you'll make sure those lines kind of remain thick. I'm trying to see if I need any more adjustments to it. I think we're moving in the right direction. Maybe just something small here. Like that, that work. And then we want to be sure at the top to uh, kind of thicken a few of these up here. Not all of them. And almost finished. I've drawn mine sort of big. Um, of course, you don't have to do it this big. But if you're wanting something to give your significant other for Valentine's Day, and you want to do something really special, you could probably throw this in with something. <laughs> or, uh, or give it to them as a gift itself, just to gift itself, you know. It's up to you. But, but it, it is cool, though, to get something that someone makes. It's always neat. For me, anyway, I love it. I really do. Honestly, do. I honestly do. If I get something that's handmade, Somebody took time to create it, thought of me while they were doing it. Uh, it's pretty special, you know. All right, there we go. So the silhouette now is completely formed out. You see how the roots, they, they have no shape to them. You know, the, the, the true shape comes up here at the top, and it makes forms that heart. Now, you can make yours more defined if you want. You can keep on going with it, you know, and really define it out so that when a person looks at it, they know exactly what they're looking at. Because sometimes people might look at something and say, I don't see it, but... Give it as Valentine's Day gift, they really should. But that's all done. One marker, no pencil, no preliminary drawing, just setting down and making it happen. Um, again, though, if you wanted to uh, use other elements to it, you can. But I think we're pretty good. If you've done this now, if you follow along with us today and you'd like to share it, you can. You just uh, take an image of it, take a cell phone shot, send it to uh, piketv99 at gmail.com. If you do that, we'd like to share it here on the show. Uh, we'd love to tell everybody who did it, 
and where you live maybe. If you go to school, let us know what grade you're in. Um, we'd love to share your work. That's what we're all about here. Uh, the show is for the community, and it's by the community. You have people working here producing it who live here in Eastern Kentucky. You have me here who, who's hosting it who lives here in Eastern Kentucky. So this whole effort of Pike TV here for the art workshop is done by folks who live here and love living here. And we want to share what we can with you, and we want to share you with everyone else too. So please participate. Get involved. We like to see it. Uh, don't worry. Everyone's worried about their art. If you share your artwork, someone else sees it, it worries you. Listen, the bottom line is you made it and you took time to do it. And that's more than what a lot of people will do. And even just bet on that basis, share it with us and we look, you know, we like to see it, okay? Thanks so much for tuning in today. Uh, I would bring my daughter in here to say uh, uh, bye to, but she's a little bit old past her nap time, so I'm not sure how well that would go. But I'm sure she says bye and thank you too. On behalf of all the folks here working to bring this show together for you, I'd like to say thank you for tuning in. Until next time, I'm Christopher Epling. On behalf of Kieran and Epling, keep drawing. <laughs>